Okay, our next country is Armenia. Um, going back up to the map, Armenia is going to be this country in the middle right here, and it is a landlocked country, uh, meaning that it does not connect to any major body of water. Okay, so uh, Armenia is going to be about the size of Maryland, once again, just for comparison purposes. Um, it is mostly rocky. Um, if you look at where the Caucasus Mountains are located, Armenia is primarily going to be on the leeward side. If you remember windward, leeward, we, windward is going to be uh, real green and lush, lots of rainfall. Leeward is going to be the dry, rocky side. So Armenia kind of gets the bad side of that. They'll grow some small, some crops in the valleys, uh, but for the most part, during the days of the Soviet Union, they were just going to be a place that was going to have small factories. You do the math. Um, a lot of small Soviet factories surrounded by mountains. That's going to be lots of pollution. Uh, some interesting things about them historically, they are what they call Indo-European, meaning that when you look at their history, you look at their ethnic group, you look at who they have roots with, uh, they actually trace their lineage back to Europe. Uh, most of all, these other countries are either going to be Russia or the Middle East. Um, they are going to be the one lone exception that's going to go back to Europe. And because they go back to Europe, that also means that you're going to see them be a Christian country. In 300 AD, they became the only Christian country in this part of the world. You have uh, the other two, uh, Azerbaijan and Georgia, are going to be primarily um uh, Islamic nations. You get um, these stands. They're all going to be Islamic nations. So you've got one Christian nation. They have their own version of Christianity known as Armenian Orthodox. But that's something that's going to make them stand out, the type of thing that I would make sure I pay attention to. Um, one Christian nation, it is going to be Armenia primarily. Um, now, being that they're a Christian nation, um, their national symbol is going to make sense. Mount Ararat. If you've heard of Mount Ararat, but you can't remember why, um, it's believed by a lot of scholars that if Noah's Ark actually existed, if there was a place where it could be found, they believe that Mount Ararat may be one of those places. Perfectly natural for that to be a, a national symbol for a Christian country. The problem is Mount Ararat is actually in Turkey. It's not in Armenia. It would be sort of like the Statue of Liberty being in Mexico, or Mount Rushmore being in Canada. Wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for that to be our national symbol, but Armenia, that is one of the things that uh, that does define them. Okay, um, another thing that makes this really, really odd is that since Mount Ararat is in Turkey, you would think they get along with Turkey. The reality is they really don't at all. Um, the end of World War I, um, this was still called the Ottoman Empire. That was falling apart because of a group called the Young Turks. They were really big into nationalism. Hey, we're Turkish. We need to uh, you know, play that up. So they're turning it into a country known as Turkey. Well, at the end of World War I, they didn't get along with the Armenians, so they decided, hey, here's an opportunity for us to get rid of them. They deported them all, sent them on their way. They had to walk back to Armenia. Um, during the process of this, about one third of their population either died along the way or was killed in the process. Here's why that's such a problem. Um, the Armenians uh, say that that was an act of genocide, that uh, you know, Turkish officials, Turkish um, uh, soldiers gunned people down. The Turks here still a hundred years later say that while that might have happened, why it's tragic, it was never anything that was instructed so it is not an act of genocide. It causes a lot of conflict within the area, a lot of conflict really throughout the world because there are still people that uh, either won't, won't recognize it or just simply tend to ignore it. Uh, some more recent conflicts that you're going to see, mostly with Azerbaijan, um, because religion, you know, Christian versus Muslim, uh, some border disputes between the two of them, and then just former Soviet policies that led to a lot of uh, pollution there today that they're still having to do.